In your safe rooms, you do have some toilet facilities? Or? We do. It's actually typically required by both the 361 and the ICC 500. It's based on how many occupants you have. Um, the more occupants you have, the more facilities you have to have. Those facilities can be full-blown toilet facilities, or in some situations they can be chemical toilet facilities, but then you got to turn around and provide some type of privacy for it. You can't just set a you know, chemical toilet out in the middle of the room, obviously. So, but yeah, we, we do. And we make decisions about, in a school, for example, we may make a decision about what area we're going to make a shelter based on, you know, where do we have toilets that are already built in. We, in, in schools, for example, we like to use the kindergarten rooms for several reasons. One is they typically have toilets already in there. Secondly, those rooms are typically larger spaces. And third, those little kids are the ones that are hardest to move. So, you know, for us in an elementary school, that's, that's the process we go through, knowing all that stuff to make a decision about what area do we want to make a shelter. And a lot of it's that human factor stuff. With these human factors, you, you want people to be comfortable. Right. I mean, they are, their anxiety level is going to be stepped up a little bit. <coughs> right. And now you got somebody that has to use the facilities, and you say, here's a screen in a bucket. Yeah. yeah. Does that going to, what's that going to do their anxiety level? And is it going to make them think, I would rather go outside? And that's the last thing we want people to do. Once they're in that shelter, we do not want people messing with, the, the control devices because they're designed to be in a when the when the tornado strikes they're designed to be in a position and if they're not in that position then they may not do any good there was a, a story in a one of the hurricanes that hit Florida uh, the one year that that the four hit um, there was a, a gentleman in one of the shelters that was a smoker and he had to have a smoke when the hurricane was full force right on top of him and 150 mile an hour winds and he's got to go outside and have a smoke. When he opened that door up the wind caught it and sprung the door and now it went shut. Those are the type of things, you know, I mean that's a bad situation. But you don't want somebody with a high anxiety level saying, I got to get out of here, right. and does exactly the same thing, and then compromises everybody else. So, you know, those, they may not sound like a big deal, but, you know, you put yourself in that situation and start to think about, well, you know, how would I feel? Somebody handed me a bucket and a, and a curtain and said, there you go, there's your toilet facility. You know, I, I, would, I wouldn't feel good about it, um, and especially if I don't know what's going on outside or if my home is still there or all those, you know, are all my relatives safe and all my friends safe, you know, that all is going to be a raised anxiety. So, you know, I think we as designers got to be sensitive to that because, again, you just don't want somebody freaking out in the end.